Thank you so much, Alex. Uh, good morning, fellow Toastmasters, Rotarians who could be here, and all guests who are with us today. It's a pleasure to have you here at Kampala Sunrise, and we thank you for sparing this morning to be with us. Being the first time we are meeting, allow me first of all congratulate all of you upon finishing 2021 and, 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 and wish you a happy 2022. In Toastmasters, our year actually began in July 2021, so we are in the middle of our year. But a big congratulations to all of us who have been able to complete 2021. And we look forward to more energy, more engagement, more learning, and pushing this club to another level. In 2022, uh, our theme for the club is every member matters. And therefore, we ensure that each and everyone who comes to our meeting has a warm reception, has a good environment to learn and grow, and we're able to connect with each other. So as you're in this meeting today, connect, engage, discuss, let us know what you feel. If somebody gives a speech, give them your compliments and constructive feedback because Toastmasters is a safe space where people learn and grow their leadership and public speaking skills. I personally have been part of this family and I have enjoyed every single part of the journey. I know you too, if you're a guest joining us, this is the best moment to use for your morning and all other Toastmasters who are joining us from different clubs or from Kampala Sunrise, you will have a great session today. To start us off today and to lead us through the session is one man who took our learning journey to another level. He went through level one to level five in a space of around six months, speaking after speaking, learning after learning, what a type of a person. Joshua Mukisa is a rare character. And this morning, Joshua Mukisa will be our Toastmaster of the day, leading us through this session and taking us through our first meeting of 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the none other than Joshua Mukisa with a big hand clap celebration. Take us on from here. Over to you, Joshua. Thank you so much, Mr. President. I am delighted to be here and for you to lay the way, open the grounds for me to guide you as the Toastmaster of the day is extremely an honor to have in 2022. It is starting with a blast. Welcome to the new year, ladies and gentlemen. It is that point in time where everyone is thinking, it is a new year, it is a new me. I need to change how I performed last year. I need to improve how I'm going to operate in 2022. Set your vision, write it down, revisit it each morning and prepare yourself to hit them hard. Ryan Holiday in his book, The Obstacle is the Way, profoundly expounds on the timeless art of turning trials into triumphs. Inspired by the stoicism, he offers us a framework to flip obstacles into opportunities. He urges us to be stoic. And today, I urge every one of you to gravitate towards the path that offers you the greatest return on your investment, which is yourself. Set time to attain the goals you want to attain in 2022. Make the landmarks you didn't set in the years past, because this indeed is a new opportunity for you to transform, for you to impact the world, for you to make a change. And I would love each one of us to hold our hands together and ensure that we leave no one behind. Today, we have a set of very interesting persons that have decided to make it their vision to improve themselves, to grab 2022 by the horns and not let it go. We will have various 
speakers, two of them, Sentongo Henry and Drisa, that will be indulging us on how they have prepared themselves for 2022. But first, let us go to the role takers. And I would love to invite the timer for today, Susan or Tim, in about a minute to tell us more about what she's going to do and how she's going to conduct the meeting from her angle. And then we'll be followed by the grammarian, who too will let you know what her duty is in our meeting today. Susan or Tim, you can take the floor. Thank you very much to Mr. Toastmaster of the day. Good morning and happy new year to everyone. In my role as, to, as a timer of the day, I will be timing the speeches. And like we've had, we have two speeches. Uh, Drisa's speech is four to six minutes. And at four minutes, uh, when, the, when he has been speaking for four minutes, I will turn on uh, the green card. At five minutes, I'll turn on the yellow card. And at six minutes, I'll turn on the red the red card. Uh, likewise, Henry's speech is five to seven minutes. And at five minutes, I'll turn on the green card at six, the yellow, and at seven, the red. For the evaluators, their evaluation should be two to three minutes. So at two minutes, I'll turn on the green, 2.5, the yellow, and three, the red. The educational moment is 15 minutes. And at 10 minutes, I'll turn on the green at 12 and a half, the yellow, and at, at 15 minutes, the red. Thank you very much. Back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Excellent work, Susan. Let's now proceed to the grammarian of the day. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests, as grammarian, it's my responsibility to pay close attention to all the speakers this morning. Their use of the English language, I will take note of that. I'll take note of any misuse as well as any outstanding use of the English language. It's also my duty to share with you the word of that day. Uh, I request to be given host rights to share the word of the day as that is being done the word of the day is ubiquitous. Ubiquitous means found everywhere, present. And an example, let's see if I can share now, yes. So that's our word of the day. I'll be posting it in chat shortly after this. It's pronounced as ubiquitous. You can repeat it. You don't have to turn on your audio, but repeat it, ubiquitous. Then it means present, appearing, found everywhere. An example, his ubiquitous influence was felt by all club members. I request all speakers to use it and I'll give you a report when I'm called upon later on in the meeting. Over to you, Toastmaster of the morning. Thank you so much, Agnes, the grammarian of the day, ubiquitous. Speakers, ensure that you use it in your presentations and everyone who gets a chance to step upon this virtual platform. I would now love us to proceed on to our first speaker of the day. And this is none other than Sentongo Henry. Henry, at it again with his first speech for evaluation and feedback. He is out to change his habits. Using such a great platform, he believes shared feedback is essential for his personal advancement and is looking forward to hearing from you. He will be evaluated by Brenda Atwine. It will be a round robin evaluation. Henry Sentongo is coming on stage but first, I would love to call Brenda Atwine to introduce this interesting character. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster of the day, uh, fellow Toastmasters, uh, dear guests. 
allow me to present to you without my video on. Uh, just a minute. So Mr. Sentongo Henry, our first speaker, uh, has an icebreaker. I don't have his title, but let me introduce the purpose of his speech shortly. This being an icebreaker speech, Mr. Sentongo is going to introduce to, uh, himself to the club. Uh, his project basically is about to introduce himself on any topic uh, that is relevant for the audience so that he can receive feedback uh, that he can apply on his second speech. So the member will spend about five minutes to present this speech to the club and uh, he will deliver an organize, we expect him to deliver an organized speech. He will also, will also focus on his speaking style and recommend any improvements that he can apply to the next speech. The speech may be humorous, informational, or any style that he may choose. And uh, we'll evaluate him based on how we'll get to know him well. So Henry Sentongo, let's welcome him to give his first speech, Maiden speech in Kampala Sunrise. Let's all rise up and welcome Henry Sentongo to give his first speech in the club. Henry Sentongo, we welcome Hi, Brenda. You Thank floor. you, Brenda. Just, Brenda, just a minute. Thank you, Brenda, yeah. for that yeah. wonderful introduction. Uh, Henry's yeah. speech. There's a slight confusion. Henry was supposed to be speaker two, but it's okay. He will be speaker one. And his speech title is I Try Not to Cry. And he's doing his second speech after the icebreaker. So he's doing his, he's attempting his evaluation and feedback first speech. And the purpose of this speech is for Henry to present a speech on any topic receive feedback and apply feedback to the second speech. Henry will also present a speech and receive feedback from the evaluator for his second speech. So Henry, take it away with the speech title, I try not to cry and five to seven minutes. Over to you, Henry. So Brenda, you will be his evaluator here, over to you. It's okay, thank you. Thank you, fellow Toastmasters. Uh, greetings to Toastmasters and guests. And I'll give my maiden speech, my speech, first speech. Confirm you can hear me, please. Yes, we can. I'll try not to cry. I'll try not to cry after realizing that a, that a great fraction of my uh, years lived on earth has been lies. Some intended, but then others not really intended. And why do I say this? When I play back along the memory lane, I remember promising my grandfather that I would visit our village home even after long he's gone. And he would always claim, you know what, when I pass on, none of you will ever come back to this place. It will remain a void home. And I would always interject strongly, uh, advising him and assuring him that, you know what, Grandpa, I'll be always here. I'll come around and I'll check out this lovely place uh, of ours. Friends, guess what? It's been four years and I've never stepped, I've never set foot in this amazing home of ours. And when I play back these memories, all that one all that wants to come, that's all that tries to roll out of my eyes are tears. But guess what? Over time I realized that some of uh, some of the lies that we tell or some of the promises that we tell, really, we don't lie only to the people around us 
but to ourselves too. Imagine uh, that one story that you always tell yourself or the promise that you make to yourself before uh, the day starts, before the day closes, and you tell to yourself, you know what, I'll have this right, I'll, I'll get everything done within the possible time possible, uh, within the post shortest time possible. I'll be better this year. I'll go out and work out. I'll be fit. And this is the start of a new year, that's 2022. And I believe everyone has set out their year's resolutions. And you know what? The hardest meeting one we can ever have is one before you slip off. This meeting, interestingly, there is no agenda. It's not held over teams. And there is no secretary to write down all tech minutes for whatever uh, rule, uh, guidelines that may be for this meeting. And interestingly, this is one of the realest meetings. I don't know how each and every one reacts after having this meeting, because I believe each and every one in this ubiquitous world and full of needs and ubiquitous needs, uh, ubiquitous uh, requests, gets to have this meeting with themselves. But I don't know what resolutions do come out, given that uh, there is no secretary, as I earlier mentioned. These meeting notes are not taken down by anyone. But what happens after? Friends, all I have to say is I will not cry. I'll try not to cry because I've found out a way on how to overcome such fears, on how to overcome and get to put whatever points that I've set aside into action. And do you know how this works? If you don't, well, let me give it a try. Uh, I believe that and from the different sources of knowledge, and the different books that I've read, uh, the one unique one stands up, and that is the power, and that is the power of purpose. When you find your purpose or seek to find your purpose, things never turn around, things never go wrong, things turn around and go as you expected them to be, or to take course. And believe me, you, once you get this done and you get to uh, figure this equation into play, believe me, things will come around. And if you take on this equation for this coming 2022, things will come around. Uh, things will turn around uh, uh, greatly and you will be uh, wondering whether really this is the person who used to have these past meetings and yeah, everything will come around. So the first, equation that we've been knowing, we need to unwind it and then get it right. So what we know is motivation, inspiration, then action. But friends, how about we turn it the other around and choose it as action, motivation, sorry, action, inspiration, and then motivation. Because why, when you act, you will get to realize one, uh, the things that you didn't know, you gain experience, that's secondly. And then from experience, of course, you walk the journey and no one needs to tell you otherwise. But above all, you get to get satisfaction that you know I got this done. And guess what, friends, when we turn this around and, and look at <clears throat> how we can action, uh, get things done, we'll be inspired and motivated. And at the end of the day, you won't need to have these meetings or you won't have the fear to have these meetings, but you will only stay on course and everything will work out as perfected. Key takeaway on this journey, we're all trying to figure out ourselves. But if we always look, try and believe that crying will help us, you know, solve whatever reason there is without action, believe me, you it will never change. This will never change. Better take action and get moving. And believe me, you will be able to accomplish, to set out whatever you uh, believe to, sorry, you've said to accomplish, and everyone will be in a better world. Over to you, Toastmasters, Toastmasters of the day, and a great new year to each and every one on this call. Thank you. Thank you so much, Henry, for that presentation such an ubiquitous
Ghostbusters character. Isn't he the guy that won the Table Topics competition last year? Well, let me invite Brenda Atwine to proceed with the evaluation of his speech. Wow, wow. Well done, Henry Sentongo. That was a very beautiful speech. Um, sorry, our members and audience, uh, didn't, I was not very well prepared in terms of his speech title and also the level he's at. But nevertheless, I've managed to capture a few points uh, uh, regarding his presentation. Henry, I loved, first of all, the title. I was very eager to hear, maybe to see you cry, <laughs> but you didn't. Uh, so the title really was moving. And uh, it, uh, when you, I, I got to hear your speech, really, it, it was well aligned in terms of the content to the, to, the, to the title. But that is a very captivating title because people would expect to see some action and you know maybe some bit of crying here and there for whatever reasons. But you clearly brought out um, the, the issues that cannot, you know, that can easily make you cry. Um, thank you for using the word of the day. I'm uh, personal, I'm failing to pronounce it very well, but you did, you did it quite well. I loved your firm voice. You're very clear, consistent throughout, and you faced the camera straight on. You were very, very confident. Uh, I loved the call to action that you've given us, uh, a unique one which is really from your perception about taking action first, inspiration, and then motivation comes last. Uh, of course, uh, there are a few areas of improvement that I've observed. First of all, when it comes to your gestures, I noticed you kept your hands you know, together most of the time. So you may need to be cautious of that because sometimes holding your hands together all the time may sig uh, signal that you have some fears. So uh, watch that video to, 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 to improve on that. Then at some point in your speeches, you kept using the R words, the grammarian will talk more about that. And then I would have loved to hear a little bit of your story just to connect this speech to your own story. I loved how you brought your own story at the beginning, uh, but now in terms of applying the call to action, I would have loved to see in your own situation, how, what exactly are you going to do to apply this call to action to yourself? And probably people would, um, would connect or relate to your story and then be able to act also on their side. Otherwise, well done, it was such a very beautiful speech. And I'm glad that um, your expression was quite good. Uh, so keep it up. I look forward to uh, seeing uh, your next speech. Thank you so much. Back to you, Toastmaster. Excellent evaluation, Brenda Atwine. I would now love to invite two unique members of the audience to participate in the evaluation of Henry Sentongo before we slide on to the next speaker. Anyone ready to take on this opportunity? Or should I proceed with appointing an individual? My hand is up, Toastmaster of the morning. Yes, I beg your pardon. My hand, yes. my hand is raised. I would like to participate. Your hand is raised. Excellent. Set the ball rolling. Proceed. Thank you, Toastmaster of the morning. And thank you, Henry, for uh, your speech. Um, I would like to note that uh, I learned something from your speech. So it was an interesting speech. Uh, that formula that you gave us, action, inspiration, motivation. I, I, yeah, one of the things I've been asking myself, sources of motivation. So thank you so much for passing on useful information. And then I would like to propose uh, areas of improvement in general. 
the title of your speech uh, had very little connection with the content in the speech. Uh, I found your speech to be more related to purpose. So um, yeah, in that sense, you can revisit the titles and the content. Yeah, so that is my contribution to the evaluation. Thank you. Seem to have lost Joshua. Yes. Yes, yes. Hello. Hello. Definitely. Well, Susan or team has finished her evaluation. Anyone else would like to take up the floor before we can proceed? I put my name in the chat. I maybe I can go ahead. You can simply go ahead. Great. Uh, Brenda has taken most of the points I've written down. Wonderful evaluation, Brenda. But, uh, but if I can just add one more thing to the evaluation for Henry, and I think Susan hinted upon it, the speech structure. Yeah, it appears that there were two lines of thoughts in your speech structure, Henry. So my, my advice is that uh, go for simplicity and drive the point home. And if you want to make your speech very memorable, I know you had a very great call to action when you called us action, when you said action, inspiration, motivation, but those usually come at the end. I, I just thought that you'd have led us on more succinctly to your call to action, which was quite great. And the easiest way to remember your speech is if you have a few wonderful reputations. For example, if what was your greatest message in your speech? Probably if it was, you called us to action in case that, I, I would have liked to see a build up and then towards the end, your build up should have had a link to your start. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say here. It, your, your, your finishing didn't connect well to your beginning and I kind of struggled with that. Yeah, that's really what, what I have to say, Henry, but well done, impressive speech, great preparation. You are dressed for the part, your lighting was great. And I, I really look forward to your next speech, Henry. Thank you. Back to you, Mother. Well, back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Alex, for that evaluation. And now let's get on to the second speaker, Drisa, who is making her icebreaker speech. The title of her speech is The Model. And the model is on her maiden catwalk with 2022 as her runway. She is going to be evaluated by none other than Moses Rutahigwa, the president, the legend, some say the myth. Moses Rutahigwa, the floor is yours. Interesting introduction, uh, Joshua. Drisa is our new member. He is such a very interesting character. He joined us for a number of months until he made the decision late last year to be part of Toastmasters. We are so delighted to have Drisa here today. And Drisa is delivering his first speech, which is we should call the icebreaker in Toastmasters. The purpose of the speech is for us to know Drisa, know who he is, and introduce himself to the club without telling us directly, but through a humorous or any type of speech that Drissa may choose to use. Drissa, being the first speech, I will not go into detail on other public speaking tips, but I will listen to your speech and be able to provide feedback on areas that you can incorporate into your next speech. Risa, confirm you can hear me. You can put on your video and, and so that I can confirm you can be with us.
Good. I see your video, your video, your audio unmuted. Thank you. Risa will be speaking to us about the speech entitled The Model. The Model, Drisa Soro, Drisa Soro, The Model. Thank you, Moses. Do you know how to tell someone is an introvert? Certainly. When you tell the person that the, the, the party is cancelled and the person is happy, that means this person is an introvert. But how that person goes from that to enjoy being with other people, enjoy the gatherings and being happy, not only being alone, but with people. Since that person is me, I'm going to share a couple of ideas about this in this speech. First, let me think, uh, thank uh, Moses, Alex, thank you, and um, Agnes, everyone in, uh, who helped me go through this first speech, which is, uh, I think, important because it's definitely the first. Yes, from the perspective of uh, letting you understand who this person speaking to you is, is, I'm going to relate the story that of that person, a model. It was a couple of years back. I was participating as a volunteer to the International Conference on HIV. And at that time, Dr. Peter Piot was the was the founder of the UN Joint Organization for HIV AIDS, were delivering a speech. And in that speech, basically, he was doing his speech in French and in English. I was amazed. I could not understand at all what he, the hell he was saying in English. Okay, I was gone. I, 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 uh, uh, French being my first language, I was okay with that. So I assumed that he was saying the same thing. But the feeling he gave me told me, oh man, you have to be to reach this level. So uh, uh, at the point where you can not only be, uh, uh, do this kind of speech, because remember, this was a high level. Uh, conference in presence of heads of state, superstars, and it was a very high level. So be able to deliver such a powerful speech in the two languages, while the second language were really like uh, a language from, from, from another planet for you. And they started a journey of transforming me on different aspects of my life, because I had to go from a person who was uh, mostly lonely as a young man and mostly who could not definitely make a speech and who could not speak English. How did I do that? This is what I'm going to share with you in three points. How did I do that? Was it easy? Am I done? Completed? Project completed? I mean, listen, follow with me and you will see how I, I did it. The decision was taken after this feeling, after being impressed by, by this man, I made a decision. And how I did it, I just decided to go through everything, every opportunity. Everything was an opportunity for me to go through the skills. And I did it, I did it. English became ubiquitous. Uh, if I pronounce it's not good, then English became ubiquitous in my life from uh, the movies to uh, part when participating to uh, an international gathering instead of naturally go toward the young men speaking French, I would just go to the opposite side to keep English around in all aspects from reading to movies to people to radio and then I, get, I got that. I got it and I now I, I no more need that, but I, I did it that way. Second thing was, was it easy? No, it wasn't easy, but was it interesting? Very interesting, very, very interesting because it made me, it made me go meet people I would not meet in my natural way of doing things. And it made me grow. And when I look back, I say, wow, how could you be like this? 
and I can I can tell you I I have progress. Is the project over? It's not over, and this is what brought me to Just Masters because I think that this organization is a wonderful one and will take me on the other part of the journey. Now I'm confidently talking to anyone in English, and now I will also be able to deliver a speech. And I will have okay, maybe no, I, I may not reach the level of the model, but I will, I'm on the way. So this is the little thing about me. I, I still have this little part of the shy person and introvert, not shy, but introvert. I'm no more shy, but introvert, but at this, also I'm open. I can meet any of you. I can talk with any of you. Please welcome me. I'm happy to be with you. I will grow, I'm sure. And thank you, 2022 will be a great year for all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you. This over to you. Excellent Drissa. English became ubiquitous. Let me now invite Moses Rutahigwa to evaluate Drissa's presentation. First of all, in Toastmasters, when somebody gives a, their first speech, we all applaud them. And thank you all those who gave Drissa Soro and applause. If you haven't done, please do it. You can see those hands coming up wherever they are coming from. Thank you. And thank you so much. Drissa, thank you so much for telling us about you. In your speech, you started with a question. And a question is a good way to start and trigger the mind of anyone who wants to listen to you. You bring them along to your story, and you're able to make them to learn to walk the journey alongside with you. I loved how you, you're dressed for the day, which shows that actually you depict the model. And I look forward to one day to meeting who that model is, not only in word, but also in, 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 even, in even in dress code and appearance. You are confident and you try to pace yourself in some areas to ensure that you're able to bring in some of those key parts of your speech, which made it interactive, engaging. And I love how you ended with the question, was it easy? Is it over? And to show us why you're here in Toastmasters, I must say you've, you've come at the right time and what you've shared in your speech shows that you're work in progress and you're moving on to the next level of your speech. As any person, I would like you to focus on two things, which uh, I think one thing I'd like, also, also I'd like to mention is how you kept on using your hands and your gestures, which is very good. I believe you'll keep doing a lot more on that. Some two areas which I will point out that you can incorporate into your next speech. One is to ensure that the gestures reflect on what you want to speak. A number of them may at times be good, but others also maybe if you're counting one, two, three, it'd be very good to show to somebody who is uh, speaking, who is speaking to. Number two, is maybe in, in future consider to link the person that you're describing in maybe in an easier way for somebody to be able to understand. I must say the model, I like the character, but I think you've cut me short. You've not told me in detail who the model is, what do they do, what role they had in your life, what was the name. You've talked about a few things about the model, described them, but maybe you can go a bit more into deeper so that we can relate with the person because we, are all living and learning. Otherwise, I look forward to lots and lots of learning for you, and I wish you all the best in your next speech. Congratulations once again. Thank you so much for that evaluation, Mr. Moses Rutahigwa. Let me now invite members of the audience, Toastmasters, to partake in the evaluation of Drisa. You can just step up like popcorn. We are advancing by leaps and bounds. Don't mind, it's 2022. There is room for double dealing in the evaluation space. Yes, I notice we have a volunteer.
Uh, Joshua, I'll take one. Uh, Hello, anyone taking? I'll go, Brisa Solo. Thank you very much for Definitely. for giving us your icebreaker. You just joined. You joined in the last meeting, and in the next meeting, you're giving a speech. Wow, that's the enthusiasm for 2022, and you are prepared. You are dressed for the part. And you really shared with us a personal story. And I like people, I like it when a speaker gives us a story, an anecdote, your, your aha moment when you had someone give a speech in English and French. You took us there and I could picture it. And you had a very colorful way of doing it. And that to me, I think is going to be your strength on this journey, taking us there and holding us there and you did, you did quite well in a foreign language, and I really look forward to your growth. And I can't wait to see you deliver your speech again. Thank you. Back to you, Toastmaster of the Morning. Thank you so much, Alex Agava, the ubiquitous evaluator, who is ready to take on the chance to evaluate Drisa. Anyone? Any other volunteers? It is an open space for you to hone your evaluation skills. Well, that being the case, we can now proceed with the agenda of the day. Thank you so much for the various participants and the evaluators of the presenters. The speeches that have been made were quite stupendous. And at this juncture, I would love to invite Mr. Alex Agava, the educator, the inspiration. He is the God, Alex Agava. I believe we have all interfaced with him in our pathways journey. And now he is going to educate us. Mr. Alex Agava, the floor is yours. Wow, thank you, Moses. Wow, what an introduction. I need to hire you for this, for every speech engagement I have. Well, this morning or this week or this year, as we were preparing for this meeting, I kept thinking, how do we add value to our members as the year is beginning? And what better way to add value than help us, all of us plan our year? Because if you don't plan your year, or oh, I'm looking for that saying, if, if you don't, I don't have it quite well, but if you don't have a target, every target will be a, a right target or sort of, sort of, if you don't plan your year, you will not achieve your year or you won't make the most out of it. I'm being very bad at that quote, but yeah, I, I know you get it. So we figured that we would have a vision board educational moment where I will, kind of take you through what a vision board is and how to make one. So if you are seated somewhere, please get your pen and paper out or get anything you can take notes because this is going to be a little bit practical or I'll try and make it a bit practical in the next 10 minutes. So timer, please hold me accountable. Here we go, I'll share my screen. Screen sharing. If you can see my screen, Joshua, do a thumbs up. So what's a vision board? The vision board is really an aid to help you achieve your greatest dreams. A vision board is what it is. It's a, what you'd call a collage of images. Your vision board is a collage of images and words that represent your goals and dreams in life. So Toastmasters, I know you're very ambitious Toastmasters, especially Kampala Sunrise. You all have aspirations, especially as the year, as the year is starting. What are those aspirations you have for 2022? 
what is that one or two or three things that you want to achieve this year? Your sunrises, you wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning. What, what gets you out of your bed? What's that dream that is so big that you can't sleep beyond 5 a.m.? So today, we want us to capture that unique dream or that goal and make it an image. Because guess what? If you make it an image, Just gonna try and go next slide. Because a famous man, Mark Twain, once said, you can't depend on your eyes when your imagination is out of focus. What this simply means is that you have first go there in your mind to get there. So, and the best way to get there in your mind is through imagination and Imaginations are powerful if visualized. So the vision board is proven and tested and so many people swear by it. And I picked out a few popular people in the world who swear by the vision board. You probably know some of these faces or all these faces. These faces really do not need any introduction. We have Patrick Bittaturia, we have Steve Harvey and Oprah Winfrey. All these swear by the vision board, and you can read about their stories if you search for them online. So what's the purpose of a vision board? I summarize this into just three, 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 three purposes for the vision board. To visualize your goals, to track your progress, and to stay motivated the entire year. What happens is that if you have your vision board in place, you're probably going to hang it somewhere you can see every day. What's that place in your house that you look at the first, the first thing you wake up or the last thing you see before you go to sleep? That's the place where you'd want to put your vision board. In my house, I think I would put my vision board on my bathroom sink because I brush my teeth every morning and it's a thing I'd want to look at as I brush my teeth or I would put it next to, you watch TV in the morning, I'd put it just above my TV. Or how about in your bedroom, probably on your bedroom wall, as you go to sleep, you'd want to look at your, at your vision board so that you can, keep, you can keep focus on your dreams. What goes onto a vision board, you might ask. On a vision board, you want to put pictures because, I mean, a picture speaks more than a thousand words. If you want to buy a house this year, get a picture of a house. It doesn't have to be the exact house you're going to buy, but it can be a house, a house of your dreams. And you can get these pictures on the internet, in magazines, and put that picture on your vision board. So that imagine every morning you're reminded of the dream house you want to buy or build you definitely have another reason to wake up and another reason to leave the house and another reason to really go and hustle in this hustle culture maybe you want to become ceo what better way to remind yourself every day that you want to become a ceo than having a picture of a ceo on your vision board also you can have some affirmations or inspirations on your visual board you don't have to be just pictures you can affirm yourself every morning that you are in now you can do it you have what it takes you're not just here by mistake those kind of affirmations get you going every day yeah the vision board think of your goals every day live with the law of attraction the law of attraction simply means that your thoughts become who you are you are your thoughts you cannot get there physically before you get there mentally the vision board brings clarity to what you really want because you've identified it and you've put a picture. When you put a picture to it, you're no longer vague about your needs. You are telling whoever is concerned that this is what you want to get and you've put a name and image to it. Vision boards will inspire you definitely when you look at them every time. 
the vision board will expand your mind. Sometimes we dream so little, so small, but once you picture it, wow, what better way? Your mind expands and you, every time you think about it, our minds work a lot of times when we don't even know subconsciously. And with every thought about your dream is the next step towards your dream. Helps you to not sweat small stuff. You already imagine something very big and there are bonding activities. Imagine you had a chance to have activity maybe with your family at home or your spouse or your colleagues or your friends. If you do this together and come up together and create a vision board together, that's quite a very, that's an opportunity for you to bond with people you, you live or work with. Ideas for vision board of maybe themes. What is easy to come up with a vision board if you break it down into categories or into departments. And these are the most common goals people set. Financial goals, relationship goals, happiness goals. Happiness is really key. Spiritual goals and travel goals. People here like to travel. I know quite a few of those masters who are missing travel because of the pandemic. So this year is your year, I'm sure. The borders are now open. In summary, as my time unwinds, I'm sharing with you my goals for 2022. And they're quite simple, and I'm limiting them to about three. This year, I really want to learn more about finances. I'm not from a financial background. I know nothing about finances. But in my small book club, we are starting to read more books on finances and out of books have been suggested already. Number one, someone suggested a book called SFFG, Straightforward Financial Growth. I think it's by a local author. And it's a book I'm already having my eyes on. And other books have been suggested like the book, uh, The Monk Who Saw This Ferrari. There's another book, The Greatest, The Way, The Greatest, well, the wealthiest man in Babylon. Those are the books that have been shared on the, on the book club, and I'm definitely going to read those books that attain greater financial literacy. And with great financial literacy, this is my year to attain some finances and have great have have good spending habits so that I can save my money and invest my money. And with great financial investments. I'll have achieved my goal for this year. That's all I want. Oh, I also have a relationship goal this year. And I also intend to keep health this year. This year, I want to run a mini marathon. A mini marathon is 21 kilometers, 21.2 kilometers. That's my goal this year. Currently, I run 10 kilometers and I've been fine with it. But um, this year, I want to switch it up to a mini marathon. And I hope the MTN Marathon is back. And by the, by the time the MTN Marathon comes, I'll be able to run 21.2 kilometers. That's my vision for 2022. And Toastmasters hold me accountable. I also am a creative by profession. I am a web developer and a digital marketer. In my profession, we are always creating. This year, I want to create more. I'm getting into a routine of creating. I, Creating is what we do. Write a, write a blog post, create a flyer, work, design a website, host a website. So this year, I want to do this every day. Every day I wake up in the morning, I have a daily challenge and it's going well so far. So here's my vision board, Toastmasters. What's on your vision board? Maybe if I can, if I can go around the room, what's on your vision board? Who would want to share? You could raise your hand and just tell us what's on your vision board so that we can hold you accountable this year. Who wants to go? I see Linda. Linda in the room. What's on your vision board, Linda? Uh, good morning. On my vision board are pretty long-term goals, not the short-term. So, sorry, I have to stand on first glance. That's there. Okay. 
So on my vision board is to, to open a, a, a bookstore uh, that couples with a, a, a gift store because that's my ultimate to spend my uh, older years really giving back to people, borrowing most of the books that I have and, and just creating moments where we can have tea and gossip a little bit. It also has a farm, which is a long-term goal because one of my passions is gardening. Then it also has the pictures of three of my daughters because that's one of the biggest purposes. I'm here enough to steward them. So I wake up, I look at them and I know that whatever I'm doing, they are really at the center of that all. So my vision board, among other things that, that are there, has very long-term goals. And then I have the other goals that will later feed into that. So that's what I have when I wake up and look at. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. Wow, wow, long-term goals. And now Linda has been doing the vision board for a while and she shared with us earlier. And thank you, Linda. My time is up, but I just want to take just one more volunteer to share with us our have his or have vision for 2022 so that we can hold you accountable when as the year goes to an end. Who wants to take it? Just one more. I see Bernard Wanyama. Bernard, Mr. President, do you want to share with us your vision for 2022? Good morning, Alex. Good morning. One of the core values of Toastmasters integrity. I don't have a vision board, but my wife has a vision board. On it, she has work-life balance, seven streams of income, travel, and looking after herself more. I think that is inspirational for me, and I will support her to achieve those goals. Thank you. Thank you, Bernard. We will hold you accountable on those travel goals by December. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmasters, for listening to me. And back to you, Toastmaster of the Morning, Joshua. Thank you so much, Alex, for that educational moment. He has expounded in detail on what a vision board is and why you should have one in 2022. But our time is fast spent. I would love to invite the timer and the grammarian to give us their reports and evaluate how the meeting has progressed. You will share two minutes among yourselves. First, we'll have the timer, Susan Otini. Thank you very much, Toastmaster of the day. Um, uh, this is my timer's report. The first speech by Henry Sentongo. Um, it was six minutes and 42 seconds, so it was within time. I have a suggestion for Henry. I think he lost about 25, the first 25 seconds, confirming if he was being hard and greeting. Uh, he could have done better in that, but otherwise his timing was perfect. Drissa's speech was five minutes and 35 seconds, also within time. Well done, both Henry and Drissa for keeping within time. Uh, for the evaluations, yes, I'll, 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 I'll speak, I'll be of integrity too. I must confess that I had forgotten to time the evaluator's speeches. So um, the timing that I, I, I recorded, I will not read because I had some estimates. So um, my bad on that. And then for the education moment, um, yes, uh, Alex made good use of his time. His speech was 14 minutes and 53, out, 53 seconds out of the 15. So overall, today's speakers kept within time. Thank you very much. Over to you, back to you. Thank you so much, Taima. I would love to invite the grammarian, Agnes. The floor is yours. Master of the day and well done to all the speakers. Our English was acceptable. Toastmaster of the day, you led the way. I missed some words that I tried to capture, but either my internet or yours, I'm not sure. One of the ones I captured was advancing by leaps. 
and bounds. I thought that was a great expression. There were many more, but that can work as an example. We, in, I, I captured a few lines where we could improve. Someone mentioned in this amazing home of ours, I suggest you say instead, in our amazing home. Someone said, he joined us for a number of months. Instead, say, he attended our meetings a number of times before joining as a member. Someone also said, where I will kind of take you through. Say instead, where I will take you through. Then filler words, we had many of them today. We have plenty of opportunity to improve in that area throughout the day. The, the first speaker had more than four hours. The first evaluator had more than six. Our timer, you had many of them, more than 14. At some point, I stopped counting. Now, in a, another evaluator, Alex, you had repeated use of and at some point unnecessarily, but it was two times. Our president, you used one R, more than one R. And then the second speaker, you had more than five R's. A quick suggestion about how to reduce use of these words is pause. I noticed our Toastmaster of the day, you had a very good way of doing it you would pause at some point and I didn't hear any as from you, so keep it up. Word of the day, I was impressed by our use of the word of the day. Our first speaker, Henry, you used it three times. Toastmaster of the day, more than three times. And then second speaker, you, Drisa, you used it two times. I like it when we try to use it, even when we are not here good with a pronunciation. That makes me excited. So let's keep using it until we get better. Thank you and over to you, Toastmaster of the morning. Thank you so much, Agnes, for that evaluation. And at this point, our meeting has come to its logical end. I would love to invite the president to wind up and give us his word of exhortation as we make our way into 2022. The only thing I can say is bon voyage to you all. Mr. President, the floor is yours. Thank you, thank you so much, Joshua, for steering us through this session. I must say you tickled me when you talked about the obstacle is the way. For those who don't know, please read the look for that book. I believe it will change a lot about you in 2022. Thank you so much, everybody who joined us, all the role takers, all the speakers, and everybody who thought we had an engaging meeting. We thank you. We will have more meetings. We meet every first, every first Thursday at 6.20 a.m. in the morning. And then we meet also the last Saturday, third Saturday, but when we have more meetings, we inform in advance on Saturday, 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock in the morning. We look forward to seeing you in other meetings with us. Join us this year, and you're in for a ride. I'd like to organize the number of people who joined us today. Where I see our past area director is with us. Susan, you haven't said hello to us in a long, long time. At least we can just unmute and say hello before I close the meeting. Suzanne, I can't seem to hear you. We also have the president of Tinder Toastmasters, uh, Bernard Wanyama. Thank you so much, Bernard, for joining us. It's a pleasure to have you here. And all the different people who joined us this morning who organize you and appreciate you. Thank you so much, Bernard. You can just say hello once again, and then we can end the meeting. Bernard also can't seem to hear me. Thank you all. I'll close the official meeting here. Oh, Susan, you are, can you speak now? 
Yes, I can speak my apologies. It's okay, go ahead. Happy New Year, everybody. It's a great time to meet again. Thanks for the meeting. Love the educationals and can't wait for what 2022 has for us. Have a great day. Thank you so much. I'll close the official meeting here and we can have interactions. If you're a new member, kindly post your, your contact details to any of our club officers, myself, Alex, Agnes, and all the other, Joshua Mukisa, and all other uh, members who are in the chat, who are in the chat, and we'll be able to engage you separately to see how we can help you on this journey. Otherwise, the meeting is officially ended. I can open up for interactions for guests. Say hello to us and a few other members. Thank you. Have a great, great, great day ahead.